Blockchain has completely changed the game for cryptocurrency trading. With decentralized finance or DeFi, you have open access to a brand new financial system, which means there's a ton of opportunity for developers to create their own custom arbitrage strategies with smart contracts. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a strategy that you need to understand if you want to level up your game and take advantage of this opportunity. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to know how to master blockchain step by step start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's jump into this. First of all, let's quickly just clarify the simple arbitrage example that almost everybody thinks of when they think of arbitrage trading before we get to this more complex example that's lesser known. Okay, so first of all, really quick recap, what is arbitrage? It's anytime you sell something, uh, you buy it somewhere and you sell it for a more expensive price in a different place. So like a cryptocurrency, for example, let's just say that the ETH price is currently $2,000. So the Ethereum cryptocurrency or Ether, and that's what it's currently trading for on a, you know, uh, exchange like Coinbase, for example. All right, because you have to understand that there's nothing in the cryptocurrency that sets the price, the markets always set the price. And, you know, the, the cryptocurrency exchanges themselves might have price discrepancies. I mean, cryptocurrency is super volatile, so this happens all the time, okay? So let's say it's selling for $2,002 on Binance, okay? So you could basically buy on Coinbase, sell on Binance for a $2 profit per unit of Ether. So if you did it for one Ether, it'd be $2. If you did it for 1,000 Ether, it'd be $2,000 profit. So there's a problem with this, though. You know, these are centralized cryptocurrency exchanges, and the price could move on you by the time you buy it on Coinbase, and then sell it on Binance. But that's the beauty of, you know, blockchain is, you know, if you don't do this on centralized exchanges, you do it on decentralized exchanges like Uniswap or SushiSwap, for example. So you could buy, you know, ERC20 tokens uh, on Uniswap and sell it on another decentralized exchange like SushiSwap. And that would be an arbitrage opportunity that you could do by creating a smart contract that hooks into both of the smart contracts for each of these open permissionless dexes okay and does this transaction all in one go so there's no way that the price can move on you that's the big game changer with DeFi and coding smart contracts that can do this and so that would be what i would call a simple arbitrage example and this is the one that almost everybody thinks of okay you can see examples of this all over the place so expressed in more DeFi terms with erc20 tokens it would look like this like on uniswap for example you'd have 2000 usdc per one weath all right and then on SushiSwap, maybe you have one ETH per 2002 USDC. Like this is all the cryptocurrency inside the liquidity pools. So you could take 2000 USDC here, swap it for one ETH here, swap one ETH for 2000 USDC and get a $2 profit for, you know, the one ETH. Or if you did it with more, you, you come back with more. So let's talk about a more sophisticated arbitrage approach that's going to yield new opportunities and most people aren't going to see. So this method is what's called triangular arbitrage, okay? And this is basically when you deal with multiple cryptocurrency pairs, all right, three different pairs to be specific, three different cryptocurrencies, and you spot opportunities that don't necessarily, like aren't, aren't necessarily visible to uh, the person who's not looking for them, okay? So let, let's, let's use Ether and USDC uh, at like we had in our example a minute ago. But let's also use a different ERC20 token like the Uniswap token or the Uni token. Okay, you can see it right here. And so what I'm going to do is plot different trading pairs out that would be on different decentralized exchanges so that you can see how this works. So let's say you have the, the trading pair uh, WEATH and USDC. So we're like, we're swapping Ethereum cryptocurrency to the US dollar, but expressed in, you know, ERC20 tokens. It would look like this. Let's say, we, so wrapped Ether, one WEATH, Okay, is what we use to represent Ether with ERC20 tokens. And then for the US dollar, we just use stable coins. I'm going to use USDC. So we say 2000 USDC. Okay. And then let's say that you also have uh, the uni token. And let's say the uni token is worth, you know, $5. So you can get five USDC for one uni token. All right. And then you have another trading pair, but in, and so basically in a simple example, you know, you, you wish you could see somebody like trying to do WEATH and USDC, but in this example, let's talk about another pair, right? Where you basically say 300 uni per one WEATH. All right, now you don't see an obvious arbitrage example here unless you're already skilled with triangular arbitrage and if you are, why are you watching this video? 
So basically, like here's the here's the trading pair most people are thinking about. We see USDC. You can easily tell what the ether price is from this. And then here you can easily tell what the uni price is because you can see, you know, five USDC is one uni. Duh, uni's worth five dollars here. You know, duh, ETH is worth two thousand dollars. But what is this price? Right? This is a little more mysterious. Three hundred uni for one ETH because you don't have a US dollar, you don't have a US dollar figure tied to this. So it, you know, it does an arbitrage opportunity exist here? Well, there actually is. I'm going to show you how to calculate it. This is where you basically look at different pairs and you create a cross pair or an implied pair. So you do that like this. So essentially, you take these figures here. So like one weath, all right, per uh, 2000 USDC. All right. And then you multiply them like this. So five USDC. All right. To one uni. All right, and what does that equal? Well, basically, then you cancel out, um, you know, the units here. So basically, that's going to come down to one weath, all right, for 400 uni. Right, this is the implied rate right here, because basically, you know, uh, you're able to cancel out USDC. And then if you multiply as a cross and then you reduce the fraction, you divide this by five, turns into one, and, you know, get this from weath here. So one weath divide this by five, USDC cancels out. So you get, uh, you know, 400 uni. So one weath per 400 uni is the applied exchange rate of uni to weath for this cross right here. So now that you can see that there's an arbitrage opportunity on the table, because here you have 300 uni per weath, and here you have 400 uni per weath inverted. So how do you actually take advantage of it? So you could audition a couple different paths here, but I'm going to show you the solution. So what you would do, let's just say you took Weath, for example. All right. So you could take Weath, well, one Weath, buy in here, and then you would get 2,000 USDC back. All right, because that's the redemption rate. And then you'd take your 2,000 USDC and you'd swap it here. Okay. And then how much would you get back? Well, you take your 2,000 USDC and divide by five, which is going to give you 400 uni. All right. And so now you take your 400 uni and you swap it here at the rate of 300 uni per one weath. Okay. So basically you could invert that. You could say uh, 400 divided by 300. Okay. And that's basically going to give you, you know, about 1.33 uh, weath. Okay. So you started off with one point, you started off with one weath and you got back 1.33 weath. So a profit of three you know point three three weath which to put my calculator here times two thousand dollars per ether at that price so basically that's going to be about you know six hundred and sixty six usd profit okay so that's basically how you find a triangular arbitrage you can have three different trading pairs across three different exchanges or in this case i should say three different pools because the pools could theoretically be on the exact same exchange okay so you can see a real life example of this. So here's an example, right? Like here's an example of my taking wrap BNB. So it's sort of like the ERC20 token version of the BNB token, kind of like wrapped ether. And then uh, basically swapping it for this, you know, stable coin and then trading that for the DJT token. I don't even know what this token is. Okay, but then swapping that back for wrapped BNB. And you can see they started off with 0.22 and then came back with 0.22. Three, three. So not a huge profit necessarily for this particular example, but it's still uh, an example of a profitable ARB even with the gas fee using this triangular method that I talked about in this video. So how would you implement something like this? Well, of course, you need smart contracts to do this, okay? You need to create contracts that hook into each cryptocurrency exchange, and then you need some sort of, uh, you need to be able to perform an arbitrage first and foremost, where you can look at arbitrary tokens and do the trading pairs all in one go, because again, you have to do this in one shot. You can't wait for the prices to move on you. And then you need some sort of watcher that actually looks for these arbitrage opportunities, Okay. So basically something that's able to calculate these triangular arbitrages like I'm showing this video. So you have to actually get out and do some math and like, you know, watch for, uh, you know, diff when different cryptocurrencies trade and when the prices change and then, you know, do this math and compare them. And then that that is going to call the contract that, that executes one of these arbitrage trades. And so there's complexity involved in doing this. And also, you know, but but it's going to it's going to uncover a lot of different opportunities that, you know, a lot of people aren't going to see on the surface. And so this is not a new technique, okay, in terms of like cryptocurrency trading or really, you know, basically triangular arbitrage has been around for you know, outside of crypto, like crypto didn't invent it, right? You could do it with Forex, you could do it with lots of different 
uh, trading pairs with other assets. But with crypto, there's perfect analogies, especially on decentralized exchanges, especially when you're talking about liquidity pools, where you have all these different cryptocurrencies with these different pairs, you can find routes that can yield profitable opportunities. All right, so that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you're as fascinated with this technology as I am, you like this video, how can you get your hands dirty? You know, so you can get started today coding your own custom arbitrage smart contracts. Well, you definitely need to understand the basics of the programming languages and how to write smart contracts for blockchains. So you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you'll take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you a master blockchain step-by-step start to finish over at dappyversity.com forward slash bootcamp. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.